Alright, so before starting today's video, I would like to tell you about a tool that is the ESYS Mobi Unlock. This tool can help you to unlock various kind of iOS screen lock and unlock Apple ID. So you can check out the description link and download the tool. Now here you will see so many solution for your iDevice. Suppose I have a device to unlock the Apple ID. I will select that option. Now it will download the software. After that it will start unlocking your Apple ID. Once it will done, just set up your device and follow the instruction on the screen and that's all your device is now unlocked so if you are interested just check out the description link for the complete information so now let's continue today's video so today i got the old iphone 4 that is running on the ios 7.1.2 and in this video i will show you how you can jailbreak this older iphone 4 with the old untethered way and install the cdr in 2022 so you can just follow this full video in that i have explained each and everything step by step for you guys so that you can easily jailbreak your older iphone if you have so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process now to jailbreak the ios 7 there are two three ways one is the manual method and there are the script method also but for now i will show you the easiest way that can help you to install the jailbreak files via three tools so you can download the latest three tools from the official website after that just click on the jailbreak section now just click on start now first thing you need to set the date exactly showing on the three tools so you need to just go to the settings and change your date and time and go to the previous year date that are showing on the three tool screen that is the 2014 and the june 1st Now after you set the correct date just go back and you will see the theory tool processing will go further. Now go to your home screen. Now on the home screen you will see the pango jailbreak icon. Just open it to proceed further. It's very important step you need to open that pango icon. After that it will move further. Now once your device will on again. Just go to the home screen, you will get the pangu icon, just click on that, you will get some warning, just click on ok. After 5 to 10 seconds, your device will get a respring and it will reboot again. Now it will complete the rest of jailbreak process, so just wait for it to get complete. And after your device will on again, you will see the CD icon on your home screen. Now just tap on that. Now this time it will prepare the file system for you, so you can use the CD and get the full root access. Now you will see it will get some processing and it will take time around 1 to 2 minutes according to your device speed and after that you will get a again restart. So now we are done you can see that we have successfully installed the Cydia on the iOS 7 and it's a untethered jailbreak so reboot doesn't make any difference on the jailbreak so you can use the jailbreak after the reboot also so no need to jailbreak it again it's a completely untethered jailbreak for the iOS 7. So now as you can see that after the reboot jailbreak is still working. So if you have a old iPhone 4 running on iOS 7, you can try this method and easily jailbreak your device. So I will see you in the next video. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.